All right, just before the video starts, I would please ask you to uh, subscribe to the channel because when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to be 100%ing, uh, uh, doing a supercut of 100%ing Paper Mario the Origami King, which is my favorite game. Tears of the Kingdom is my second favorite game, so I'm going to defend this a lot, but yeah. Hey guys, what's up everybody? It's me, AJ here, and so today we are going to be uh, reacting to this video. Uh, basically, essentially, I just did a quick go I just did a quick search on YouTube of Tears of the Ki The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom sucks, and this video came up. Uh, so yeah, first of all, I'd just like to point out that th it's just all the same thing. There's no gameplay in the background or anything, so that's that's great. But we're gonna just be reacting to this. I really like Tears of the Kingdom, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Here with a game called Tears of the Kingdom. It should be Tears of the Kingdom. It, it is, should be Tears of the it, it is Tears of the Kingdom franchise because this game, this franchise, this series has not had a creative installment since the 80s. I shit you not. Wait, the legend. Okay, um, what if I recall. Legend of, like, I'm not gonna do a quick Google search here, but if I recall, I don't think Zelda, I think only the first Zelda game came out in the 80s. It's Legend of Zelda is absolute garbage. Anybody who claims to like this franchise is a blind fanboy who is willing to pay absolute top dollar for absolute trash. There is nothing good about this. If, what if, so if he is, if he bought the game, and he said there's, why did, would he buy the game if there was, if he claims that there is no actual creative game since the 80s? Like, that, that makes no sense. Why would you buy the games then? Because how would you know that there was not a creative installment in the games since the 80s if you bought the games? And then if you realized that, why would you keep buying the games? This game, they literally... Hit Control C, Control V on a game that came out in 2017. Well, I got news for you, Nintendo. As backwards and behind as your hardware is, the fact that you think you can con us by releasing a 2017 clone, you think that the industry hasn't evolved, hasn't gotten better. This game is missing absolutely crucial features in 2023. Things that games simply do not release without. All right, number one, where are the microtransactions? Number two, where are my purchasable skins? Number three, where is my multi- There are, there's different clothing, there's different armor and stuff, and that's not purchasable. So, I mean, why is that an essential? I, there's a lot of games that don't have pur purchasable skins. Multiplayer. Number four, where's my season pass? Multiplayer games uh, are, th that's not- not again same thing with the last thing i was saying not every game has to be multiplayer there's a lot of great games that aren't multiplayer god of war i don't believe is multiplayer there's there's a lot as for the said multiplayer number five where's an abundance of cosmetic dlc this game is fundamentally flawed at its core Wh what you're already complaining about dlc the game came out a couple months ago when was this video made this video was made three weeks ago. So it, the game came out, like, what, a month ago and you're already asking for DLC? That, that does not make sense. That makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, I, I understand maybe uh, a year after the game came out, that would, yeah, I want DLC for this game as well, but I'm not going to ask for it a month after the game came out. They just finished this game and they've been working on it for six years. And, uh, so, I'm not going to be immediately asking for DLC right after the game released. Excuse me. That is asking too much for Nintendo, I think. Or level, and you clowns are lining up to buy an inferior product. Not me, not Dead Metal. You want to know why I didn't pre-order this trash? It's because I don't buy any game in 2023 that does not have purchasable DLC, that does not have microtransactions, that does not have cosmetic skins that I can fork over real-life dollars for. This game is an absolute joke. People want to praise it for being creative. What they implement... So you said you didn't buy... You don't buy games in 26. So you said you didn't buy this game? Then how... How do you know the game is garbage? If you didn't buy the game, then how? Are, why are you rating it? 
How do you know it sucks and is a disappointing mess? How do you know that if you didn't buy the game in 2023? And then the game as solutions to the puzzles and the combat encounters does not invoke creativity, it invokes frustration because the lazy developers over there at Nintendo couldn't be asked to properly design a level that required mental fortitude, that required mental ingenuity. Instead, they just throw all the tools at you and say, you figure it out. That is- That's the point of a puzzle. That is the point of a puzzle. Puzzles. There are these things called puzzles. I'm assuming since you didn't buy the game and you're rating it, then you don't know how puzzles work. But, uh, there, yeah, that's what the point of Zelda is. Zelda games are wildly used with puzzles and stuff like that. And there's no, there is mental ingenuity. There's all of that because there's multiple ways to solve the puzzle. There are multiple ways. You can think and you can make it happen. There's, they, even the game designer said, even the game designer say, said that. I think, we, not exact quote, but one of the quotes was, we want the players to feel like they can be creative in a many ways and they can do whatever they want with the new ability Ultra Hand, which I think is really cool, but clearly this guy cannot process that. Not creativity where I come from. Where I come from, that is called laziness. That is called the bare minimum. That is called scraping. Don't know where you're coming from then. Bye. Where, where you came from then, excuse me. And that's what Nintendo's made a career out of, scraping by. They have inferior hardware, the game runs at 20 FPS consistently at 360p in handheld. Um, the consoles are supposed to last six years, and Nintendo said that they were going to have it last more, they're going to have the Nintendo Switch last a little bit longer than normal consoles do. And they planned on the Switch lasting a little bit longer. This will be the seventh year that the Switch is out. So, yes, they definitely need a new console. The, of course, the Switch isn't up to date. It's about seven years old now. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're, they will be making a new console, and I'm assuming that there's going to be a port for Tears of the Kingdom, uh, just like Breath of the Wild was. Breath of the Wild is on the Wii U and the Switch because it was one of the last because it was one of the games released about the same time when the Switch came out and when the Wii U was ending. So, yeah. <laughs> mode it's a blurry muddy disgusting grotesque to look at mess that nobody in their right mind should be playing nobody declared competent or sane is playing this game by the way 60 i'm pretty sane i would think i'm sane i'm and there's a lot of people that are playing this game are you so you're claiming that not a single person who's ever played this game so hold on hold on hold on hold on Again, you're calling this game garbage. How do you know this game is garbage if you haven't played the game? So if you have played the game, you're saying you're not sane. That doesn't... Okay. This is... I am losing brain cells by the second. $70 for a Nintendo game in 2023. I'm... Okay, there's a very reasonable explanation for that. And that is because of one thing and one thing only. In inflation. That is something in the real world. And Nintendo made the game $70 because we're Zelda fans. And who cares about another $10 when we get a amazing game that the developers had phenomenally made? It's $70, it's because of inflation. And I would expect that when Metroid Prime 4 comes out in the next, I don't even know when, probably not for a while, I expect that the game is also going to be seventy or eighty dollars because of the massive Metroid uh, fan base. It's that that's just because of inflation. I mean, there is only one thing that can summarize that. And longtime fans of this channel, waiting for my glorious comeback, feel free to do it with me. <clears throat> You sound like a Legend of Zelda character laughing, honestly.
game is trash, it's garbage, it's a joke, you're gonna use cel-shaded art in 2023? Not in my industry. Let it be known. That's because Breath of the Wild used it, used that, and this is a sequel to Breath of the Wild, so it has to look similar. It has to look very similar to Breath of the Wild because it's something called a sequel. A sequel. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is somehow even Tears worse of the than Breath of the Wild. The greatest Zelda game to ever release, and has not, and will never, let's be honest, will never be topped, was Link's crossbow training. That's where the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Series peaked, but now we have... In, in, nine, in the 80s, in the 1980s, that's, that's where the series peaked? Yeah, okay. Shit. Like Tears of the Kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom. Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening. It's never gonna hold a candle. Link's Awakening is actually a very old game, and it well, not a very old game. I believe it was released in the nineties, uh, or uh, uh, early nineties, maybe. I, I'm not one hundred percent sure. I, I I don't know the history of Zelda off the top of my head of when each game released, but that is a very old game, and it was just remastered on the Nintendo on the Nintendo Switch. So. Yeah, clearly this guy does not know what he's talking about. To the top tier AAA Zelda experience of Link's crossbow training, and the fact that they keep trying to hammer out installments and milk money out of this dead end franchise just goes to show how truly desperate Nintendo is. They're desperate. They're clowns. They're jokes. And to make matters even worse, if they're desperate, how did the most recent Pokemon game sell? Become one of the? I, I believe it sold like 30 million copies already. And if they're so desperate for people to buy their game and they're increasing the money because they're desperate and they want people to buy their game, then how did Tears of the Kingdom in like one week of its release already sell 10 million copies? This guy is pulling this out of his ass. People with PCs from literally 10 years ago when the PS4 and Xbox One came out, they can emulate this game at 4K60. And, and their hardware, Nintendo's hardware that came out in 2017, four years after the fact, cannot even hold stable 30 FPS at 360p. And, and what does Nintendo do? Here, I'll give you two up. I'll give you this. He kind of has a point here. The Nintendo consoles need to be more powerful. I will give him that. Options. Do they do the, the competent thing, the reasonable thing, the ethical thing, which is delay the game so they can further enhance it, make it more playable, make it perform better? That's what they did! Do they release a Switch 2 that can actually perform and has modern characteristics that you would find in a gaming platform? No. They choose to shovel it out in the state that it's in, which is... That's what they did. Okay, they didn't do the Switch Pro, Switch 2 thing, whatever. But they did delay it. They delayed it for, like, a year. Like, half a year. They delayed it. So they could just improve on things. This this is just showing you that this guy has no idea what he's talking about. Even worse than the PC releases of Hogwarts Legacy, Resident Evil 4, oh Dead Space... It's disgusting. There's stuttering mess all over the place. It's just so terrible. It's a shame, too, because this used to be a good franchise. I'll tell you who's stuttering me after hearing this stuff that you're saying. That's who I'm, that's, I'm stuttering because of that. Nice. But the fact remains, folks, if you're wasting your money on this, you're a certified idiot. And you have clowns out here defending these practices. If you didn't waste your money on this game, if you did not play this game, how do you know it sucks? How do you know it's a disappointing mess? How do you know if you didn't buy the game? And if you did buy the game and you're truly trying to trying to say that this game is terrible, then wh why are you saying that you're why are you saying that everybody who bought the game is an idiot? Because then that makes you an idiot. So I wouldn't be talking. The saying this is one of the greatest games of all time? No. Nintendo took option B. They went with option two. Pay off the reviewers. They went with half of option one, actually. To give you 10 out of 10, proclaim it's one of the greatest games of Pay all off the viewers. I will tell you this much. Nintendo didn't sponsor me. Nintendo does not pay me money to play their game. I spent $70 on a game that is one of my favorite games. It is my second favorite game, only to Origami King. It would be my favorite game if I wasn't so obsessed with Origami King for some reason. So, 
Nintendo did not pay me. Nintendo did not pay me. I, I will tell you this right now. N y y this is stupid. N yeah, totally. Nintendo, like, pay like, paid all of these people. Nintendo paid, like, 10 million people uh, to buy the game and to give it a good rating. That's totally what Nintendo did. They would never do such a thing. All time, and by the time you're in, you know, 15, 20 hours into the game and you're left looking around, like, hey, you know, I have a sense of deja vu from back in 2017. This is the same game with minor tweaks. You've already got your money. I have a sense, I think he means a sense of nostalgia for this amazing game that is being recreated uh, into a even better game. They're laughing all the way to the bank. You are the punchline to their joke. They have overthrown your wallet. They have bent you over. They're raking you over the cl If they paid us to to give good the game good reviews, then why are they laughing and taking our money because they paid us? They're not using any lube. You are the idiot, and they're the genius. If you if you bought the game and you are truly rating the game because you think the game is terrible, then you are also an idiot for buying the game if you don't like the game. And then if you didn't buy the game, why are you rating it and why are you saying it sucks and it's a disappointing mess because you don't know because you didn't play the freaking game? Imagine that. Is that what you want to be realized? Is that what you want to be remembered for? Being a Nintendo drone? No. You don't. You want to be memorized and being a Nintendo drone? What? Memorialized and remembered for doing something great. Stay in for doing something great. Yeah, and doing do that doing something great for you guys is subscribing to the channel. That'd be pretty cool if you guys could do that. Up and standing out from the crowd. Are you a sheep or are you a shepherd? Okay. Are you a lamb or are you a wolf? Do you control the flock or are you the flock? All you need to do is follow me. I'll lead you to the promised land. And you can start by taking that $70 that you were going to spend on Tears of the Kingdom. And you can give it to me instead, where I promise if I continue to receive significant financial ah. contributions to cash flow. Ah! Now I see why why he's uh, why he's doing this. He, he wants to wants to get a little, a little quick buck my creativity and continue this business i will be out here exposing every single game movie tv show left right front and center let's fucking go great you know this was a little bit over exaggeratory i i will say that uh i don't i wasn't going like oh my gosh this guy is pulling this out of his ass I, I don't, I don't like go get all mad like that in real life. I don't do that in real life. I will say that right now. So I was over exaggerating a little bit, but clearly this guy has no idea what he's talking about. So yeah, uh, if you want to support me, you don't have to give me your $70 to, that you were going to spend on Tears of the Kingdom. You can just go down and hit that like and subscribe button and leave a nice comment on the video saying, yeah, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, here's a sub. Make me an awesome Paper Mario Supercut. Uh, so yeah, uh, anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Alright, so I was just editing this video, and I looked at this guy's channel, <coughs> and turns out, he made a video about how he was wrong on Tears of the Kingdom sucking. Maybe he has come back to the light side. So let's take a look. Uh, after uh, after I upload this video, I will make a video about that one. And so I'll take a look at that one. And hopefully he has come back to the light side and does not think Tears of the Kingdom is terrible anymore. So that's good.